I'm Dr. Jasper. Today I'm going to talk to you about commas versus semicolons. Okay, so when we're dealing with commas, we're talking about separating a dependent clause with an independent clause. For example, while I waited, comma, I read my book. The independent clause in this situation, or the sentence, the full sentence in this situation is, I read my book. That has a subject, I, predicate, read my book. The dependent clause is, while I waited. While I waited is not a sentence, that's why we call it a dependent clause, and it should be bracketed off by a comma, because the independent clause is, I read my book. So whenever you have a dependent clause, or sometimes we call these an intro clause, you wanna make sure that it's bracketed by a comma. And remember, if you cover up one side of the comma, there should be a full sentence. And if you cover up this side, this will be a non-sentence. So a dependent clause and an independent clause are separated out by a comma. Now, semicolons are different. Semicolons separate two independent clauses. So if you're going to be looking at something separated by a semicolon, you should be able to cover up one side and see that this reads as a sentence and cover up the other side and see that this reads as a sentence. For example, I love ice cream, chocolate is my favorite. Chocolate is my favorite is a sentence, and I love ice cream is a sentence. In this case, the semicolon works. Okay, so those sentences were easy sentences. Let's take a look at more complex sentences when we're talking about commas versus semicolons. In the first sentence we have, although she was tired, comma, she went to the party. This is the proper use of the comma here because although she was tired is the intro or dependent clause, and she went to the party is the independent clause. So in this case, the comma works. Let's take a look at sentence two, where we use the semicolon. He knew he would get in trouble for skipping, semicolon. He did it anyway. In this case, the semicolon is fine because if I cover up this side of the sentence, I have he knew he would get in trouble for skipping. That is a sentence. I could put a period at the end of that and it would read perfectly fine. And then he did it anyway is also a sentence. So in this situation, the semicolon works. Now sometimes we use a comma with a conjunction and that functions like a semicolon. So in this example we have, he knew he would get in trouble for skipping. That is a sentence. And then we have, he did it anyway. Well right here I could use a semicolon and it would work, but I can also use a comma but. A comma but equals a semicolon and can connect two independent clauses. I cannot just use the but without the comma. You have to have the comma but in order for it to connect two independent clauses. So be careful on the exam. If you see just a but or an and or a so or a yet or an or, make sure that the other piece of the sentence is not an independent clause. If it is an independent clause, it is a sentence that can stand on its own, then we wanna make sure we have this comma attached to the conjunction because it functions like a semicolon. So just to review, commas alone, they separate dependent clauses and independent clauses. Semicolons separate two independent clauses and the comma and, but, so, yet, or, or act like a semicolon and separate two independent clauses. Thank you so much for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like us to film and make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.